Now, Sky, why are you letting that lady press you like that? Hi, my loves. You're Raven Lady Girl from Around the Way. We have culture, conversation, and community. And in today's video, I'm coming to you all with a baddies review i don't know the name of this episode and i don't know the number of the episode but we're gonna get into it before we do y'all make sure you like this video like it i'll wait like it thank you and subscribe subscribe to the channel subscribe to the channel it costs you nothing and it's greatly appreciated so let's just hop right into it zeus give us a recap like they always do and is it me or does the the theme song remind me of a damn bobby damn bobby Damn, baby, I didn't do that. Like, that little Baddies West song reminds me of that. Begin roller outside, and they're recapping last night. You know, they're doing that little morning smoke. Razor joins, and, you know, I think, like, Rolly hypes Razor up a little bit. She was just like, you know, I wasn't there, but she was doing your big wings, running around like a demon. And, um, you know, Razor got her sober voice on. She was like, yeah, that was yesterday. I don't care about that. We moving forward. Okay, Razor. I like sober Razor. Drunk Razor? Get your lick back, Razor. Millie and Tommy are doing the same thing. The first couple of seasons, just everybody recapping last night. Natalie and Confession, like, yeah, everybody did good. Tommy did good too. Talking about the performances, I caught that shit. Natalie said the people was mad they took over the club because they was having a birthday party. Girl, why did you think that you was about to have a birthday party the same night that the baddies was gonna be there? That wasn't a good idea. Millie is talking to Tommy, yeah, because I think that the younger girls look up to us. I don't really know about that, but I understood where she was trying to go. But me was, you know, talking about the performances. She was like, yeah, I like Krishan's song. You know, it was cute. I was on the stage helping her out too. It was a point where her energy got a little low, which maybe, maybe not. Tommy, that might've been an exaggeration, but she said she likes Krishan's song. Stunning, not so much. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And the next thing we have Scotty and Kat in the room. And I'm like, finally, a scene where Kat is not associated with Stunner, girl. Don't you know Stunner comes right up in. I'm like, oh my gosh, they are getting on my nerve with this whole scene. Have the two and then one joins. Like, we get the we get the whole format. I wish that they capture more natural stuff in for Baddies West. Like, more like South Central Baddies. Just more of them naturally just doing stuff. Because it's feeling real produced when two people are standing and then in comes one. Like, we get it. Scotty and Cab was, you know, and Stunner were talking. She's like, yeah, girl, you did a good job. You know, you and Tommy kept your distance. You had the G members in there, you know, throwing up signs. She was like, yeah, and it just came out. And it was functioning. You know, Stunner girl got that voice. And then they mentioned the whole thing with Tommy. She was like, I really hope we can get past that. And Stunner was just like, no, it's the principal. And Cat like, doubled down on it, too. She was like, yeah, I was hoping that I would see something different. But lo and behold. Tommy did throw a drink yeah you threw a drink but like I just feel like again I said this in my last my last review I said if you was on an interview the interview went sour but HR still hired you so what the interview went was sucky you got the job now it's time to go up perform you get what I'm saying you ain't gotta fuck with her you ain't gotta like her but dragging this beef off from auditions and so now it's giving me it's doing too much girl we get it you gotta stand on your principle you ain't gotta be out here having scenes or shooting her but like all of these disruptions based on Tommy and lets me know that you're really pressed. And Tommy, girl, that stunner girl is up, is in the deepest layer of your skin. She got, she was getting with you this episode. And you can tell, like, why do you keep letting her do that? So we have Rock, um, Low, and then Incomes. Oh, no, not Income, DJ Sky. DJ Sky was talking. Sky was getting it going. Yeah, because Tommy was really upset that you went second or you went, you know, last whatever. But ultimately, you had the bigger record. And then Rock was like, oh, no, but I like Tommy. Sky doubling down. Yeah, well, she she still had an attitude. Sky, you, 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 you. Not you trying to stir the pot, sister. You don't even have that much power to stir the pot. Not with these chicks. Sky, I just feel like it's just like that add on. Like, you got a little baked potato. Yeah, I guess add the sour cream too. Like, I don't know. I mean, no, because the add ones make the potato. I feel like she's like, she's not doing it for me yet. She mentions Razor. And nobody even cares anymore. Like, girl, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Even Krishan said that in the confessional, which, like, that's your home, girl. Ain't that your friend? Ain't that your friend? So then Natalie and Biggie, well, Natalie calls Biggie into her room, and she's like, girl, get the girls together. They do a whole bunch of, yo soy mi dominicana, you look good, ahora man. All this and this and ayora man. <laughs> All this old Spanish stuff. So, um... She like, yeah, get the girls together. I'ma just chill here, which is cute. I feel like, I like how she's like passing the role. I mean, she's making her a little do boy, her little go, you know, go her gopher. But I think it's cute because she's like almost like passing the chore, passing, passing the chore, 
passing the torch, girl. So we see her going down the hallway, banging on everybody's door. Come on, mira, mira, ahora, ahora. You know what I'm saying? And I like that because, you know, we from the Northeast. We go to the corner stores. It's like, you know, your your favorite poppy is on in the back on a cheese steak. Hey, hola, mommy, what you want? Okay, cheese steak? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She gives me that kind of vibe. You got to know. You got to know what the vibe is to understand what I'm trying to say. She kind of got that. You know, it was cute. You know what I mean? Like, okay, get it get it ready. Get it right. She goes into Rolly's room. And she's like, oh, you look so beautiful. And, you know, we're getting ready. All the girls look good. All the girls are coming downstairs. And, again, they all looked really good. Um, Natalie and Tommy started talking. And she was like, you know, last night there were a few kinks. So they was kind of looking like, Natalie, what you about to say? And she was like, you know, we're going to get that worked out tonight. Um, you know, the DJ was kind of like, play the song. It wasn't playing the song the way they wanted to. But we're going to get that together. Um, Tommy comes out. Oh, no, Lo looks good. She was giving us a little cheetah print. Little, you know, clap clapation happened shout out to miss wendy <laughs> um the time it comes out in this but lentiaga sure she looks good she she got beat up by natalie nunn and she's he's an alcoholic and she probably popped him you know what i'm saying she do a whole bunch but she look good she comes out shitting you know she really did she was eating them girls up with that outfit that was that was i like her fashions Okay, she got pieces. Comes down and she's on the phone. She's like, who you on the phone with? She's like, I'm on the phone with Blue. She's trying to get Blue to come out to Las Vegas with her. And, um, she, you know, Natalie always got to like, I feel like Krishan does it for attention. She comes down late and then she comes out on the phone while they're literally shooting a scene. Like, that's the attention thing. But then be like, why are you, why are you worried about me though? Because girl, we're like, I'm sure that scene didn't take that long at the end of the, at the bottom of them staircases. Like, be for real. Anyway. Um, Tommy, um, Tommy, Natalie was like, yeah, because we was trying to repost a thing. We had to repost a fire like three times. It was so good. I had the wrong address and then people was posting and tagging y'all doing a good job because what people don't know is y'all gotta, y'all gotta be promoting these shows too when they get casted. That's why they be wanting to know how many followers you got and shit. And, um, it was like some of y'all was putting grandma emojis and instead of they were talking about Stunna Girl. So Tommy's like, I'm leaving. I'm not dealing with this juvenile stuff. I cannot. Y'all can have it. It's silly. It's simple. And I just feel like, Tommy, don't let that, don't ever let that girl run you up out your spot. Are you kidding me? I would have ignored that so easily. She's talking about some Insta grandma for me. And Tommy was like, Yeah, I'm rich. I'm rich. And she was in a confessional. Like, yeah, I want to be y'all great grandma to let y'all know what it is. And if she is a grandma, she's like, Oh, I'm not even 40 yet. Girl, stop letting these people think that you. 40 years old even 50 60 like it's this it's all a social construct you know what i mean like it is what it is tommy is eating up a whole bunch of girls that's in their 20s and 19 and in whatever so stop with the whole i'm not even 40 yet and if he was 40 this is what 40 is period like i'm not even going into that because i just hate when like the young girls or to the old heads and the old heads or to the young girls like just be you you gonna be bad at every stage and if you listening and understand my voice, you're bad now at whatever age and whatever weight. And we move right on. Arrived to their thing and it looked good. I mean, like, it looked really, really good. Like, you know, if the fans was out, ass clapping, bottles was popping, blue face pops out. It was cute. A DJ Sky on the turntable with an iPod. <laughs> okay, I can listen to that on the iPod. She on her uh, laptop and she getting it going. And then Rock leaves because Blueface left, which... Ugh, the codependency is real, baby. Then DJ Sky comes from behind the DJ booth and starts rapping. And I'm like, everybody was kind of looking like, oh, she raps? Okay, go ahead. And she was, I said, I hit him with the left and I hit him with the right. I came outside and turned out right. Like, girl, sit down. <laughs> sit down immediately. Everybody is there to promote themselves and sister, promote it. Like, do you. But I just feel like it was a little unwarranted. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't want it to sound like no hater because listen if you got whatever you do promote yourself at all times you feel me and you know i just feel a little bit like people just feel like they just want to cast their hat into the rat bag to see if it's sticking hey sometimes it's sticking it work you feel me but like if you were if you were dj like i want to see her go into her dj bag she could do something like dj kyle and get a collection of a whole bunch of rap girls put out a mixtape do something different stop trying to be like you know the produ the producer and the talent and this that and the third if you were a dj be a dj be, be do it different do it all the way stop being like but i'm behind the camera but really i want to be in front of the camera like i don't like stuff like that <laughs> i just don't and the girls didn't really seem to like it either natalie was like i can't believe she just came out here and did this so the next scene is the next day natalie is approaching sky 
and then she's like girl i've been trying to get in contact with her i don't know where she is and really i brought you on so that way you could be uh, accountable for blue for not for blue but for um krishan and now you don't even know where she is you should have left with her and she was like for real i should have left with her and she was like yeah i did i definitely think you did for whatever reason reminding me of that old that old um clip of beyonce telling Ferris she need to go and get her luggage <laughs> that's what that reminded me of it's like you know uh honestly when i saw blue face in the club i knew that she was going to leave we don't know where she is she's not responding she's like you need to handle that but i feel like why she was like what she was like it's not your fault i'm blaming you but i'm not blaming you i'm blaming you but i'm not blaming you and she's like you need to be mad at her i feel like they are just trying to add in this extra layer and channel because Krishan's out of control and they don't really know how to get through to her how are you trying to make it you know sky's you know reasoning but really you should be talking to blueface have him in pocket like you know she has to fulfill these you know contractual obligations and blueface why are you not telling your girl that that's what you need to do you know she's getting to a bag like it's a collective thing you know one hand washes the other if you know that you know she she's gonna be so dependent she don't want it she don't want to leave you need to ask her you need to, you need to be ask her man babe go get that check and i'll see you when you get back you feel me mm -mm, mm -mm. then natalie mentions her performance she was like where did that come from and she was just like you know i really feel like we was just doing that you know out of nowhere she was just like yeah well um we didn't really like that because it just came out of nowhere she was like well didn't low london perform her song yesterday and she was like yeah but <laughs> you ain't low basically is what she said and natalie did a whole bunch of you need to get this little girl you need to get this little girl and natalie loves to call and do this little girl speech but she do not have that energy when krishan is in her presence she just don't she don't <laughs> she just don't tommy razor and low talk about um talk about dj sky's performance she was just like yeah i just felt like it was weird for her to just pop out like that it was just kind of like awkward because we didn't know that she was doing that and then the girls were all like i'm glad that she did you know tommy came out because she got her house separate in the back and it's nice that she's mingling with us and tommy was like i like low i like her and then that in the last scene we see cat stunning and biggie and cat is walking her up and she's just like yeah i just feel like y'all need to squash whatever it is that y'all got going on biggie just smoking she's like you but you got some scarface shit going on she's like i'm just hitting the blunt it is what it is she looking like she really not interested in having this this interaction but here we go um i feel like it was unnecessary y'all ain't gotta force it you ain't gotta be cool you ain't gotta be friends it is what it is but cat was like i'm about to leave i'm about to go get me some chardonnay cat is such i i hate to say it, but she is not giving uh what are you giving stunning is calling her grandma tommy but tommy more lit than you like i don't get it she need to be offended for all these grandma insults and you walking around here saying somewhere my chardonnay and my name been and i ain't in it and i'm sitting down somewhere so they get into it she was like i feel like you was running your mouth too much and she was like how i was asked a question and i and i gave my answer and then they footage rolled back i'm like okay come on production y'all got the y'all got the footage clued up it's giving bravo so she's like um so stunning girl was like you know tripping and fumbling over her words okay yeah so well whatever you were still commenting on my business so she was just like you know you're not my mom and then she was and then biggie was like yeah i'm not your mom I, if, if i was your mom da, 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 da. stunning girl don't talk about my mom like she's like girl you're childish you know she, all she said was actually girl <laughs> she biggie hit her with the girl stop so um stunner's like well you already apologized to me at the end of the day she was like i didn't apologize to you i, I don't know what you're talking about i didn't apologize to you so she was like i made then, then the insult started to flare because biggie was eating her up biggie was eating this stunner girl up in that scene with the nonchalant like we can do what we can't i don't care it is what it is and that's what she said i already don't care for the girl so we can move on we cannot it's up to you so she's like yeah at the end of the day like you look a mess and i can tell you don't get no money because he had chain and she was like i don't get no money because of my chain i give my mom my money i give my mom my money and i got this little allergy thing going on so it's giving very much deep voice like biggie <laughs> so she like yeah i give my mom my money or whatever the case and i managed to just like you to go around and shake their ass shit you, you're nothing to me you're nothing to me she was like and who are you to give me advice and i feel like that's the center girl has this air about her like she's so much better than <clears throat> and i think that's getting on biggie's nerve because it's like you don't know me you feel what i'm saying she don't know who she deal with who she pulled like yeah but you sign up and see and, and then she was like yeah you want to get the dick to get? and she, biggie was like no i don't i'm good like i'm cool <laughs> and i think that center girl is trying to use her desirability to make biggie go some type of way but biggie is kind of bossed up so it's kind of like okay all right cool <laughs> whatever i can get money and do less than what you have to do so it's nothing for me you feel me 
and I am trying to embrace Sunny Girl. I'm trying to get my mind around what she got. And I know she already has her fans. If she came onto this platform to her audience, she's not selling me right now. I, I just, I don't get it. And it's probably one of those things, like, the girls that get it, get it. I don't know. If you're a Sunny Girl fan, drop down. Let me know. Maybe I'm missing something. So after the insults, insults are frying, the production comes in. The her producer comes in and was trying to do something, you know. She said she was changing her mic, but I feel like she had said something like, don't listen to her or whatever the case. And she was saying something. What did she say? I think you're selling pussy too. Or you want to be me or something. Something really triggered Biggie. And she said, what? Excuse me? And came up off that step with a mom. And when I say she, she, she socked her so hard, the girl fell into a chair. The girl was in the chair, okay? And then she was like, you tried to sneak me when I was getting my mic fixed and da 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 da. I don't think it was a sneak. I don't, I'm sorry. I don't think it was a sneak. Y'all was getting into a heated, escalated, verbal thing. You saw her on that step. You, you heard what she said. You saw her come to you. You thought you were just about to pop it without, without being ready. You can't pop it on that level of popping it and then be upset when you get popped. Be ready to, to pop back, to pop off. You feel what I'm saying? If you popping it, be ready to pop off. You know, whatever. Um, I do think that Biggie took a, a getting a page out of Krishan book with the whole acting like everything cool. What? Fine. Like one of those type of things. If, if that is what she did, then that's a sneak. Because if that's the case, what I'm saying is if that's the case, Krishan been sneaking. If y'all going to say Biggie sneaking, then Krishan has been sneaking because she didn't know. She did nothing different. What? Boo, 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 boo. Whatever the case. We're going to see them have that little fight again. Next week's episode might be a little bit more lit. I enjoyed this at this week's episode. You know, the production was cool. You know, um, not the production, like the the, vid the video production, absolutely. The um, cinematography, everything was nice. The girls look good. It's, Natalie got a good group just this time around. They all look good. They all look like they gave them a couple dollars. I'm into it. Baddies blessed. Baddies, baddies, shout out. God, period. Make sure you like this video and subscribe if you like this commentary, okay? Drop down and let me know. What's up with Sunny Girl? Am I missing something? Please help me. Please help me, okay? I don't know. I'm getting out of here. As always, I'm sending you much love and much light. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.